Excellency, Mr. Reuven, Ruvi Rivlin, the President of the State of Israel, and the First Lady, Mrs. Nechama Rivlin. This special evening is the opening of the Naamat International Solidarity Conference with the participation of close to 120 women, leaders from seven countries on three different continents, North America, South America, and Europe. This conference is dedicated to strengthening the Zionist cause and the bond between Israel and the diaspora, and above all, to declare commitment and solidarity with the State of Israel and with Naamat. Dear guests, seated next to the President and Mrs. Rivlin is Mrs. Masha Lubelsky, former Knesset member and Naamat representative at the World Zionist Organization, and Naamat presidents from around the world. Mrs. Liz Rader from Naamat USA, Mrs. Sarah Butel from Naamat Canada, Mrs. Sarah Smaltzbin, Naamat Brazil, Mrs. Esther Blyer, Naamat Mexico, Mrs. Denise Cohen, Naamat Belgium, Mrs. Marta Haber, Naamat Argentina, Mrs. Dora Duenes, Naamat Uruguay. Thank you all for coming. Women of Naamat have always supported the State of Israel and dedicated so much to the welfare of the citizens of Israel. We were always, and you were always, proud Zionists, even in times when people were afraid to show public support for Israel. Moreover, your support helped and still helps us to ensure that we live up to our promises and that we keep alive the symbiotic connection between Israel's Jewish and democratic identity. Naamat helps Israel look deep within itself and reminds us that all citizens deserve equal rights. I see Naamat natural partner. Our countries may be separated by miles and oceans, but our goals, our work to support Naamat and our hearts are as one, to provide continued support and expand the programs and services of Naamat Israel. Together, we all strive to ensure that the promise of a brighter future for all Israeli citizens is a reality. I hope and I am sure that every one of us is so excited and so happy I have really tears in my eye to come here to the president's house, to be welcomed, to be in Jerusalem, to come to Israel. Can we imagine and understand what a great schut it is? How much we are privileged, our generation, all of us, all over the country. We have the daycare centers, the high technological schools for the girls, centers for legal advice for women and the family, a shelter for battered women. Every year, Naamat is giving 200 scholarships from a fund that is being raised by the, our sisters from United States and Canada scholarship to 200 women students to enable them to go and to study in the universities all over the country. And all of you believe in social justice, in tolerance, in equal opportunity, and all of you carry the commitment to the State of Israel and to Naamat. Am Israel, Hi, I'm Israel Chai, your president, and Ms. Rivlin, we want to give you a declaration of solidarity and support of the State of Israel and for Naamat. It's 
it's heavy. It's heavy. to protect the state of Israel. Good afternoon, buenas tardes. My mother, Alice Howard, was born in 1926 in Los Angeles to Russian immigrant parents, and she was the youngest of six children. Her mother was a longtime member of Plainer Women and president of her chapter. <laughs> So what do we have here? We have a legal consulting <coughs> services. We have 30,000 women that are uh, Istadrut members. So they are also Naamat members. We have 1,100 infants and tutors in 14 daycare centers around the Negev. And soon we will have the 15. 
and we have this Women's Rights Center that we are sitting here today. So in 2015, I accept 17 new children will join Ahmad family. <laughs> הקרן למענקי מחקר במדעים חשובה מאוד בגלל הצורך לעודד עוד ועוד נשים לעסוק במחקר. Ask the students uh, for master degrees and PhD degrees to really do what we are really passionate about and uh, for me it's science. But what is tissue engineering? What, what are we trying to do? The, uh, the main purpose is to build a small tissue or a small part of an organ inside of a lab. Uh, this tissue, uh, we want it to, to live and to function exactly like the tissues inside our bodies, later to be transplanted back into the patient. Our input, our society becomes more intelligent, more interesting, more colorful, and more ethical. In conclusion, I'd like to quote from the Mishnah, where there is a saying, one who saves an individual soul in Israel, it is as if he saved the entire world. All of us, together in Namat, are involved in Tikkun Olam, in trying to make the world a better world for the women, children, and families in Israel, and for the future generations. The words of Herzl stirred within them the hope that once again the Jewish people would call Zion their national homeland. Okay, shalom. I am very proud of you in the Beit HaIsadrut and I am very proud of you in the last few years in the world in the world of the world in the world of the world in 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 the world Actually, this year we had um, an achievement, something that we were working on for like more than 10 years. Still, from now on, people can share, can divide their pension rights, and, and uh, the government, the pension companies will have to recognize it and will have to work by it. Avoda shalanu i avoda sizifit, yom yom, im ze bavganot, im ze beyachase tzibur, batikshoret, derech a Facebook, anachnu mishtomshot arbe mod ba Facebook, a Facebook ukli zol venoach lanu lagia la arbe mod nashim, gam kede liit chadesh, gam kede la vi chaverot chadashot vetseirot. Because I think that the way of the world now is through social media. We have many devoted chaverot, many who have been with us many years, but what we need are more younger people to come to join with us and to continue the tremendously important work that we have been doing. What I thought I would do um, with the help of some Namat Chaverot uh, in Canada is try to give you a brief overview of all the different activities that we do in Namat Canada. Our three major goals, of course, are to build membership, inspire a new generation of leaders, and increase our fundraising. Hi, everybody. Okay, this is our Shilihut. A Shilihut is when he goes through the country to visit. Uh, one thing that we like to do is to go to the centers and to know what's going on. You can start putting it. Yeah.
presidentas de los diferentes países, Javerot de Namat, miembros de Israel. En este mundo que ha perdido tantos valores, en el que tantas cosas se han vuelto desechables, trabajar ayudando a los más necesitados es la vacuna contra la indiferencia. The news from Europe over the past several years has not been very good. Jewish communities in European countries such as Belgium are feeling increasingly vulnerable and have been the targets of verbal, political and physical attacks. These attacks are a reflection of a resurgence of anti-Semitism. The main objective of Naamad Belgium, as you very well know, is to contribute to the renovation and rebuilding of daycare centers in Israel. Haremos una Naamad cada vez más fuerte y seguiremos estando orgullosas de pertenecer a este movimiento. Éxitos por y para siempre. Las... Es decir, es una colectividad chica, pero siempre hemos sido muy, pero muy activos, muy sionistas. renovations of the uh, hairdressing uh, classroom, we only had to see if we had enough money in our funds, and which we did, and we sent them, and we wanted to very much honor Avraham for all the work that he has done. Thank 
Goldfarb grabbed onto the idea of a founding mother's daycare and made the building we are looking, we looked at <laughs> now a reality. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> you are welcome to come here from over the world. Uh, we have our beautiful community center uh, that you saw that just got renovated and got a new extension. Uh, bless you. And in the community center, we have uh, one, every other week we have uh, a NAMAT lawyer that come in for legal aid and uh, legal counsel for women. Uh, it's in uh, um, divorce. <laughs> here at the hotel to pray if we so choose or just to soak in the atmosphere and the history of this very special place. We have the honor to represent all the members of Namat from around the world who do not have the good fortune to be able to be here, but this is a responsibility as well. We must absorb and internalize all the sites we have seen here in Israel, both historical and Namad institutions, schools and daycare centers. We must convey the enthusiasm and excitement we feel here so they too will know how very important the work we do for Namad is. <laughs> Yeah. 
We began a week ago in an intensive and very meaningful journey of 110 leaders from seven different countries. This is our Naamat International Solidarity Conference. From the opening at the President's House through the Boker following the footsteps of Ben Gurion, Be'er Sheva, Tel Aviv, Carmiel, Yerushalayim, and especially moving ceremony at the Kotel this morning. In addition, we installed two new daycare centers, one in Be'er Sheva and one in Carmiel. We visited and acknowledged the wonderful work of Naamat all over the country. I am sure that all of you are very, very proud. And we are all very proud of you in helping us to maintain and support all these installations. Thank you very, very much. I think for the closing session, after we saw so many exciting, wonderful sights and things and operations in Israel, for the closing session that we will listen to Abraham Dubdevani, he is fighting to have teacher that will teach the Hebrew language abroad. Because without the Hebrew language, we can in about some generation be like foreigners. He's fighting and working very hard to encourage and to support Aliyah. What you are doing here in Israel, Naaman, what you are doing in the kindergarten, what you are doing in the school, what you are doing in the dormitory, what you are doing in the family centers, what you, all is the preparation. We are building our next generation. This is our last evening. And before I will read it in Hebrew, I would like to say again, Thank you very much for coming to our convention. Thank you for your hug to Naamat Israel all over the year. Naamat Olamid, Atzarat Izdaut Vetmicha. Bishnata Shishim Vesheva Lemdinat Israel, Ubishnata Tishim Vechamesh, Vetnuat Naamat B Israel, Itkanas Nukan. נציגות העם היהודי בנעמת מכל רחבי העולם, להביע את הזדהותנו ותמיכתנו במדינת ישראל ובתנועת נעמת. אנו כנשים ציוניות מתחייבות בזאת לפעול במלוא כוחנו הארגוני והערכי למען מדינת ישראל ולמען תנועת נעמת בישראל אשר פועלת בנחישות ובהתמדה ברוח ערכי השוויון <laughs> Declaration of Solidarity and Support. In the 67th year of the State of Israel and the 95th year of Naamat Israel, we have gathered here Naamat representatives of the Jewish people around the world to express our solidarity and support for the State of Israel and the Naamat movement. As Zionist women, we hereby pledge ourselves to operate to the utmost extent of our organizational and ideological power on behalf of the State of Israel and Naamat Israel, which works resolutely and tirelessly in the spirit of equality, democracy, and social justice. Our con contribution to Israel and Naamat stands out throughout the country with daycare centers, technological schools, youth villages, legal advice bureaus, and thousands of female students in higher education, thanks to the help of Naamat scholarships and research grants. We support Naamat Israel's public struggle to achieve gender equality, to advance parliamentary legislation, to prevent violence, to strengthen the working family in Israel, and to promote peace and coexistence. Israel is the homeland of the Jewish people. The Naamat movement in Israel and in the diaspora fortifies its bonds with the people, the state, and the society in Israel. In this statement, we express our commitment to continue our activity for Naamat and for the state of Israel in the years to come. Thank <laughs> you.